Hello, welcome to my newest project. In this video, I'm going to be making some Necromunda modular shacks so they can fit side by side or on top of each other. Lots of combinations. Okay, let's get to the build. Alright, onto the build. The materials I use for this project are chipboard, wooden sticks, and then other detailing material, which we'll get onto later. I start off by making uh, a top and a bottom, both 8x8 eight eight centimeter squares, and then a back and a front. The back is 5 centimeters high, and then the front is 2.5. Now I cut all these out of chipboard, and I duplicate this four times. And then I make using barbecue skewers five centimeter sections which will be the corner supports next up i glue the back and the front on using hot glue and then i glue in the supports as well Off camera, I've cut some more pieces of chipboard and they're eight centimeters long by half centimeter high. I then glue these on, one at the front at the very top and then two on top to provide some stability to the build. to the roof. I cut another couple of sections of chipboard and they're 1.5 centimeters wide, again 8 centimeters long. And then I run some hot glue down the center and glue the top onto this and I do this both sides. This then sits on top of what we've made previously. And the idea is with the lip at the top you can fit another building into that gap and it will be secure. Alright, quick change of plans here. I removed the two roof support beams, the chipboard support beams, and I replaced those with 8 centimeter sections of barbecue skewer. I didn't really like the way the roof was sitting on the two chipboard supports. I wanted it a bit further down. Uh, so here we go. All right, I've built the other three shacks off camera up to this stage. And then what I do now is using some old cereal box card I cut some sections of wall which sit inside of the barbecue skewer framework. You just have to measure the size yourself. I then glue these in with hot glue. I decided to add some very simple doors to the side of each shack. And they're all exactly the same. It's just a bit of card. I think it was 
two centimeters across, four, two and a half centimeters across, four centimeters down. And then I make some trim with barbecue skewers and I just glue these onto each of the sides with super glue. I was going to put a little doorknob, but then decided just to do a straight piece of card down the center. I have some of this fine mesh, metal mesh, and I cut a couple of sections and I put it on the inside of two of the shacks on the inside of a window and then I just glue it in with super glue. I also damage it a little bit with uh, wire cutters. Detailing time. I just use little sections of corrugated paper, card, and a bit more of that wire mesh. I also chuck in some speaker cable on one and I just glue these little sections all over all four of the shacks fairly haphazardly I want them to look quite ramshackle I make some around the corners as well but I make sure not to do any over the the bottom base because I need to, it to sit correctly on top of the next building I've done one of these off camera, but basically I just cut some more sections of barbecue skewer and made this little railing awning on one of the roofs. I actually cut some little holes into the, the one and a half centimeter high panel at the front so the, uh, the barbecue skewers could stick in a little bit and be a bit more secure. I'm going to cover that later with some some things you'll see and then I make another one on another roof and what I actually use is um, it's a plastic uh, like multi clothes hanger but it looks like I-beam so I cut two small sections off at an angle and then glue those on and then a bit of chipboard at the front some corrugated paper on top of that and I just glue it together with hot glue and then glue it down. Then I add some card and corrugated paper sections on top of roofs just for a bit more detail, just off cuts. of card and corrugated paper onto the front roof panels and I do this with all four I don't actually do the back because I want them to be able to sit cleanly back to back you know if if I want Initially I was going to leave them so you could take them off and put models inside but I didn't really see the point. It was making it too fiddly and I didn't really want to have to do any interiors. So yeah, I've just glued them on top. Now what I do in this video, I don't really end up using but I got the idea off um, another YouTube channel, The Terrain Tutor and I take a wet wipe and just let it dry out and then soak it in PVA glue uh, watered down PVA glue, it was about a 50-50 mix 
and then just kind of drape it across that barbecue skewer awning I made earlier. But it didn't really sit right and it looked a bit funny. So what I ended up doing is just using a part of it and literally tearing it by hand and draping it across a little bit of the, the awning and then using some card and corrugated paper to cover the rest. And I really like the result of this. You'll see later on. Off camera, I've mod podged all the buildings and then I've sprayed them with black primer and then uh, dark umber afterwards and then I give them a pretty heavy dry brush with a steel paint and then I do another pretty heavy dry brush with a bit of a lighter silver and it's just a cheap craft paint. to a bit more detailing. I've got some blue, red, yellow, green, white, um, just cheap acrylic paints and I water these down a bit and it is quite watery. You can see the, the metal effect through it but I just pick out various panels and paint them up. I want it to be a bit more colourful and I do the doors as well. As I said, those paints I've used were quite thin. And this was intentional, because what I do next is using an old brush, I stipple on the same colors onto each of the panels. So it kind of looks like old paintwork. Nice effect, I think. I'm not sure why, but I did this bit a little bit backwards. I just come in with uh, some sponge and a bit of orange and just start dabbing on, uh, stippling on or sponging on uh, some rust onto various metal panels. With a different bit of sponge, I come back in with some burnt umber and just kind of blend in those orange bits I've just done. I leave some of the orange showing though. I should have done this the other way around. I don't know why I did it this way, but the effect was reached anyway. I use a bit of brown ink, a bit of black ink, and I do actually mix these together at some points and use them separately. And I just paint, I just wash on some stains coming down from some of the rusted panels, just some of the normal panels and some of the roofs, just to give a bit more of a sort of weathered look. All right, so the project is now done. I'll show some photos next of the buildings in different configurations. So you can have a look at the final completed result. If you've liked anything in this video please do think about subscribing and pressing my like button it really does help a lot.
feel free to leave any comments and I will respond. And um, I'll see you on the next project. <laughs>